In this screencast, I show you how to use Google Search to find PDFs for your research. This will give you a list of summaries and links to complete published papers, journal articles, research reports, government documents, and more for you to read and annotate. In addition, I show you how easy it is to sort your Google results by date and by reading level so that you will be able to find current materials, if needed, and resources that are appropriate for your level of reading, or maybe stretch you a bit. I also show you how to use a personal Crocodoc account to collect and annotate PDFs and other documents as you develop your research project. Finally, I show you how, once you've annotated these texts, you can use the Dialectical Notes form the guide to help you later when you transcribe and cite parts of these texts in your own writing. Oh, and to start, let me show you why it might be useful to log in and keep a history of your searches. So let's start by logging in. This is an optional step and you may need to get your teacher to activate it in Google Apps if it's not already available. But it will allow you to review a history of your search terms and the sites you have visited. You can review this with a teacher, a librarian, or your peers to look for gems and trends that you might not have noticed before. You can also easily bookmark and annotate the sites to use in your research. Let's choose a keyword for your search. Currently, I'm interested in multitasking, but when I type the word in, I'm reminded by the first two things on the list here that multitasking is a term borrowed from computer design, a fact that I might refer to in my writing, but for now, I'm most interested to find more sources about human multitasking. So I add that word to my search. Now, there are two other places to go, two other filters I want to set to get what I want, which is a list of current PDFs sorted by reading level. So first I click on Show Search Tools in the left column, and I, clicked on, um, I click on Past Year and Reading Level. My search is already shaping up, but I'm reconsidering that first uh, frame a bit one year might not be enough, so let me go into the custom range and choose 2008 to 2012, which will give me about five years of results. Okay, now to the second place where I need to go to set a filter so that I can get PDFs in my results. Click on the little gear symbol in the top right hand corner and go to the um, advanced search. The only thing you want to change here is the file type, which is toward the bottom. Change it to read Adobe Acrobat PDF dot PDFs. Um, click the blue advanced search button at the bottom and check out your page. In the search box, you should see your keyword plus file type colon PDF. Below that, you should see a light blue box that has the words reading level and the dates that you've chosen for your search. Next, you'll find a graph that show you how many basic, intermediate, and um, advanced PDFs you'll find in your search results. You can click on each of these words to filter out the uh, other results. You're all set. Go for it. 
but be picky. Choose the articles that look well researched. They have long biography bibliographies, peer reviewed. They come from a journal. You can tell that by how they're formatted usually, and complex. You'll have to really work at understanding it, looking up some words, asking questions. And most important, choose two or three articles that seem to have a different perspective on your topic. Find something that challenges your view, something that isn't the common mainstream answers to your inquiry question. Find articles that are interesting, but also ones that you can digest, given your reading level and your level of passion for this topic. Once you've found an article that you think will be interesting and will stretch your thinking a bit, download it to your desktop, then add it to a personal Crocodoc account. If you don't have one yet, uh, now would be a good time to sign up for a personal Crocodoc.com account. That's personal.crocodoc, C-R-O-C-O-D-O-C dot com. It's a free service for individuals like us. Uh, there's a lot more you can do later with sharing folders with your teachers and peers and putting a link on your current uh, to your current research project in your profile. But for now, let's just uh, get two or three PDFs up in your account so that you can start annotating them online. That's almost it. Uh, oh, a couple of more things. After you've annotated an article, or perhaps when you're still reading, add new vocabulary words to a flashcard set at quizlet.com. And finally, when you've finished reading an article, add transcriptions and reactions to the important parts on a dialectical notes form. There's a Google template with instructions for what to do in the guides, or you can go to youthvoices.net slash dialectical notes. Have fun struggling with the fascinating studies, reports, and articles that you find in the world of PDFs.